3 p.m., start of 3 p.m., and the Americans' hopeless attempt to defend the Fort Nelson area has failed. Yes, they have some units there, but they don't have a zone of control. Germans are in the location. That's enough to give uh, the British a decisive victory. So, got a couple of thoughts about the system as a whole, about the game. It's a nice, simple system. Uh, there's a lot of oddities about it. Um, so, for example, uh, the fact that zone of controls don't work in the woods is kind of weird. It works out kind of neat, though. Um, the, uh, the combat shits are a bit of an annoyance solitaire. They'd be really cool, not solitaire. I've got this... Uh, uh, sort of solitaire play strategy thing. It doesn't work out quite as well as I'd like, so I generally just kind of wing it with my own systems that I use in things like uh, Empires in Arms. It's too distributed. Um, there are certain places where there are just certain choices which dominate over others, and to me the results don't take that into effect quite as well. There are also times where it's really, really clear Hey, I don't care. I just don't want them getting away. So I'll frontal assault. And that's what we saw with the British in the, the some in certain cases. That's not necessary when you have a leader, which was kind of silly of me. They could have uh, chosen other things like commit reserve or, well, not turn flank, uh, which would also pre prevent the withdrawal. Um, it's a system that I think takes a lot of getting used to, to play. Uh, that's definitely one of the issues with it. And that, that may be a good point, actually. The captures are a really, really weird situation. Um, units that are out of, that are unable to retreat because of stacking restrictions end up surrendering. Uh, even though if they were disrupted, they could have continued on. It, to me, that's a little weird. You should be able to maybe, you can take a step loss in order to avoid that. You can't take a disruption in order to avoid that. And that bugs me, at least my, my reading of the rules. I think I would tinker with the rules a little bit just to make some of those special cases go away. So to me, the game's not absolutely solid. Um, and it's certainly not the tournament game that the designer seemed to intend it to be. That said, uh, I do think it's a fun game. And I do think it's kind of neat. Uh, it's fairly short, probably can be easily played in an evening. Playing the two-day scenario the way I did might be pushing it a little bit, but even solitaire, I think I managed to get it off each day in an evening, which I'm slow solitaire. Um, I have to clip counters and everything. When we come to the, uh, the series as a whole, my feeling, and maybe GMT's doing this, and then I got screwed by buying two of them severally. Uh, my feeling is that the game probably ought to be packaged in one box. Uh, not just Saratoga and Monmouth, but whatever the rest of the series is. Um, Savannah, uh, Guilford, Brandywine. It feels very similar to their other multi-scenario uh, boxed sets. And I just don't think there's enough to, to justify a separate game for each, each, uh, each battle here. Little gripe on components. Um, they're very good to begin with. But the only gripe I have has to do with the counter sheets. Um, these are eh, extra counters that came with Saratoga for other games. And, you know, that's a great thing that GMT does, and I love that they do it. But in this case, so many of them are just cosmetic changes. You know, uh, it, it grew to be kind of an annoyance in the sense that there were too many counters. I couldn't figure out what what's what. Monmouth has three counters for Saratoga, none of which I used, because they're just replacing the letters CN with CT on counters. In some cases, they're replacing the icon for the soldier. 
you know, it's not worth doing the reprint on the counters. If there was something more that could be added to the game, that would be cool. So, for example, with Saratoga, there's a ton of these counters, almost none of which are really necessary for the games that they're in, from what I can tell. But it would be really, really cool to see the real second battle of Saratoga, which, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's too much to ask for, but... Maybe that would have required too many counters, but that would have been a really cool addition instead of these extra little cosmetic changes to counters for games I probably don't have. Uh, but, you know, that's a minor thing. Um, the, another thing is in the uh, Siri, in the uh, exclusive rules for it, uh, some places it's hard to figure out what you need for which scenario. So there's no definitive setup for the main battle scenario. It takes a little bit of thinking, not a lot. Uh, but yeah, other, other than that, I, I, I mean, I have no complaints about the game. It's lighter than I'd like. I'm happier with my old SPI Monmouth than I think I'll be with this Monmouth. But it's a slightly different feel to the game. This is more of, feels more like an operational game, really.